Hello everyone, so in this video I would like to show you my 3D analog of a 4 dimensional 3x3x3x1 hyper keyboard. Okay, so this is a 3x3x3x1 and on the first side, as you can see, it is really similar to the 3x3x3 but actually because of the 4th dimension we also have this in and outside cell here and except normal moves like this we can also rotate the site by 180 degrees with other axes so for example like this and what it does is actually swaps the in and out side stickers so this is an inside and this is outside so as you can see this flipped and when we scramble the puzzle you can see that mm, except we must solve it like a normal rubik's cube we also have to orient the pieces by uh, their in and outside cells so for example here we have a purple 1c so all the pieces must be uh, purple here okay so back to the physical puzzle as you can see except uh, stickers that are on normal 3x3x3 three by three by three, every piece has a pink and purple uh, part that represents the inside and outside cell so what is the concept of this projection every piece has a part that represents its outside and inside so for example for this free chord piece it can be rotated like this and like this so when we have this cube and this is an outside and this is inside part and for example for a four colored piece uh, this is outside part and this is inside part so the for this piece outside sticker is pink and inside is purple and for the 5c it's similar so for this piece mm, there is pink color uh, outside and purple inside so when we rotate a side let's say mm, when we do a normal 3d move uh, you can see that all the colors pink and purple are the same so uh, again on outside of every piece there is a pink but when we rotate around different axes and do this four dimensional move you can see that every pink and purple on this side has swapped so we have a purple instead of pink outside and here purple outside purple outside so this perfectly represents what we see in a virtual puzzle and so what's interesting about this puzzle is that because of this fourth dimensional moves actually uh, one corner can be misoriented so you can do this for example by a simple commutator so it will be like this rotating this piece in its place then rotating it then undoing this four dimensional move and undoing And as you can see, we have a monoflip. So this piece is on the misoriented corner on the cube. And because of this, uh, when we solve a cube, we actually 
um, can get something like um, all, all parity when we have a case which is normally unsolvable on normal Rubik's cube, for example, like this. Okay, so now I would like to show you an example solve of this cube. So let's scramble it first. Okay, I think this is it. So, I think the most uh, simple way to solve this puzzle is to first orient all the pieces by purple and pink axis and then solve it like a normal Rubik's Cube. So, I will start by orienting these centers. So, I want all of them to be pink outside, like this. And one here. Okay, and now I would like to rotate mm, every edge so there is a pink outside like this. So, how can I do this? First, I will count how many they are. So, how many I must rotate. So, one, two, three with purple outside. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay. So what I can do is put 4 of them on one side. Then I will rotate this side. So I misorient this center, but I've oriented this 4 edges. So now I can swap these 4 edges for misoriented ones. This one, this one here and here and now when I rotate back this side I will orient those edges and now every edge should be with pink outside and now I just need to uh, orient the corners so I have six misoriented ones so I will rotate the side when there uh, where there are three of them, and now I have one here and three here. So I can put those three corners in these places. So mm, every piece on this side will be with purple outside. So when I, when I rotate this side back, all of the pieces will be pink. So this is what I want. So I put this corner here, this corner here, and this corner here. And as you can see, because I've done this earlier, all pieces on these two layers are pink outside and this layer is all with purple outside so now i can rotate this and every piece should be with pink outside okay so now i will just do a cfop solve so for example i will do cross on yellow side Cross done, then F12, mm. first pair, then I will do this pair, split and insert. 
run this part. And the last bow here. Okay. And now I'll do a all of. So let's see if we have a parity. Okay. So. We don't have parity, so that's good. I will just do soon. And we have a J perma. And the cube is solved. Okay, so in the previous log we didn't get an all parity. So I'll show you how does it look like and how to solve it. Uh, so let's say we have to insert this pair. And now, as you can see, the corners are in unsolvable orientation on a 3D cube. So I will firstly uh, orient those two edges. Okay, and now we have those two corners unoriented. So what we can do is set up into a valid OLLK, for example like this. This is now solvable, but we have to remember that those three pieces are with uh, purple outside so uh, during all when we mess up this bar of three uh, pieces with purple outside then we will have to create one again so uh, you can do an algorithm that rotates this um, without a permutation or do just normal like you do always all of. Um, and now you can see that the bar is destroyed because we have a purple purple and purple here this is not a bar so we can't rotate all pieces back to the pink side so for example what we can do is Mm, do like this. We hide this mm, purple edge, rotate U side and rotate back. And now you can see that again we have this bar and all of the pieces on this side are purple. So we can rotate this side and now every mm, every piece is oriented with pink outside. And now we can re we can we must repair this all oh, oh, and edge. Okay, and now all oh, is solved, and we are left with again J perm. Okay, so there is one more topic I would like to raise about this puzzle. And so actually, uh, in the virtual puzzle. We have two one colored pieces, so basically a purple and pink one. And because there is no simple way to show that, for example, there is a purple piece outside, I decided to make this inside piece two colored. So this represents that there is purple inside and pink outside. So basically, every piece to be solved needs to be purple inside and pink outside. And when we would solve this cube with this code swap, so every 
three piece would be oriented with a purple outside the cube um, would not be actually solved so let's say we want to solve this cube with purple outside uh, we actually need to um, have a way to difference whether there is pink and purple inside so how we can do this we can uh, do like a gyro kind of uh, which will put an core outside so um, let me show you uh, the best one i found it's like this so put this, uh, this side and rotate this and stick it here then other side then this one and we move this 3c to the bottom okay and what this algorithm does is actually it actually physically flipped every piece so now there is a purple outside and pink inside and also the core is outside so this represents that the, there is purple outside and pink inside so uh, we are sure that the puzzle is solved so technically we can solve this puzzle with core being um, outside like this stick and uh, then this physical version will be accurate to the virtual one by 100% so like this and when we mm, want to uh, put this color inside again so put uh, purple inside and pink outside we can just undo this gyro algorithm like this so the last thing I would like to show you in this video is because how I designed the magnet system uh, we can actually uh, take away this middle layer and when we swap those pieces we actually get a 3 by 3 by 2 by 1 hypercuboid so this is full walking uh, physical analog of a 3x3x2x1 hypercuboid and once again we can uh, put out uh, a layer and what we get is 2x2x3x1 hypercuboid uh, so this works basically the same like a big ones you can do a 3d moves and also rotate a side by 180 degrees and we can put out the last middle layer and we get a full walking physical analog of a 2 by 2 by 2 by 1 mm, hypercuboid okay so thank you very much for watching this would be all for this video i plan to make and more videos about also smaller uh, hypercuboids you can already see on my channel mm, an example of a 2x2x2x1 puzzle so thanks for watching and see you in the next one